Alright guys, welcome back to part 3 uh, of my trailer mods. As you can see, I haven't done anything since the last video. Uh, we're looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead, I got the rest of these. I'm going to go ahead, I've already marked them on both sides. Let's go ahead and install the last four, or I guess there's only six left. I'm going to hold off on this first one, or the front one, because I want to make sure everything's lined up and straight before I do that one because I might have to bend this up and down if I have to bend it up then it's going to lift this one up off the trailer so for now let's just get these finished and uh, we'll we'll go from there so let's get started okay <clears throat> rather than using super glue this time like last time I glued it but this time I found it is actually just easier just to tie wire it so that's all I did and of course you want to make sure that when you sight down that it's perfectly straight Okay, so we've completed both sides. Again, you want to make sure you get the right side when you're making these. You can see how uh, how they look. Make sure that they're pointing in. If you have one flipped upside down and you put the post down this way, you're going to have two lefts or two rights. So be careful. If it does happen, just rebend this. Not a not a big deal. All right, guys. So we have both sides as you can see. Now comes the fun part. We need to mark our holes and then drill it. Okay, well, I was telling you guys earlier, it doesn't really matter too much about the length. You try to get them the best you can, but as you saw before, I was taking and uh, putting little grooves in the tops of these so that it had something for the uh, post to, to set down on. Before you do that, grind these down so they're all even lengths. Then also, I do have a few little that I could take and sand down a little bit and smooth out with my Dremel, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it. And I may not even do anything. Once I paint it black, you may not even notice it. So, okay, I'm going to line this up. I'm going to take a marker. Actually, I'm going to take this. This is the kind of pin I'm going to be using. It's kind of like a, uh, a paint pin. Just I've decided to start using this rather than my Sharpie because on a black trailer, it sure sticks out. So I'm just going to mark every one of these, and then we start drilling our holes. Get into the old trusty bin, and I'll be using my, I believe these are 0.5 millimeters, is what I'll be using. And we'll start bolting them down. Okay, I'm not going to paint this yet because I want to pre fit it. So I'm not going to run all my screws in just yet. I'm just going to put a screw here, a screw here, just to hold it in place so I can pre fit everything. Once it's all been pre fitted and fabricated, then I'll do final paint. Let's get started. That's where it sits. Mark. Hopefully this works. I 
Alright, here we go. Other side. Alright guys, let's get our screws, which are right here. We're going to stick a couple, just one in the front, one in the back. So make sure she's lined up. And guys, if your holes don't exactly line up, you can move these a little bit. Like I said, this is brake line. It will, it will move a little bit. My holes may not be perfect as well. I may have to bend a little bit. Oh, see, look at that. I got one already. So, unless you're like 100% accurate, it's all right to bend them once in a while. What I would do is bend this one in, bend that one in, or whatever you need to do. Just bend this just a little bit. Same with this back one. So they were off just a little. Nothing serious, just a little bend, a little lined up adds to the character of your trailer too if it's not perfect. Bam. Okay. Like I said, slide modification. We got our first railing on. I'm gonna go ahead and put some I put some nuts on them. Do have a few nuts here. Go ahead and stick some nuts on them. So far, like I said, I only got the uh, front and the back screws in. We'll worry about these two because I haven't quite pre-fitted it yet. Now it's time for this. As you can see, it's a little long, so I'm gonna have to cut those down. That far end's bent up a little bit, so we're gonna have to just bend that down. Look, look at that, see? Boom, fixed. This one, bend down, so we're gonna bend this one up. Fixed. See how easy this stuff is? Okay. So now I got this last piece, which I actually had to go buy another another length. This is just a short length, as you can see. Not much to that. Still has little things on it. This cost me right here uh, four dollars for this just this little piece, but I just ran out. But I need one more piece for the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut that. Um, I want it to be setting right here, so it's gonna have to come back just a little bit move my camera back and then I'm gonna cut these I might just cut them with the Dremel and just uh, save it that way Dremel will cut this stuff too anyway we are just about done and ready for some paint and then after that we can uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it and see if I want to rust it but I think I will I think I'm just gonna add the shines good but I've seen a lot of trailers that you know within two or three years they have the shine still but there's some rust on them so we'll probably scuff up a little bit but leave it mostly shiny and just like where you would think that the most abuse would be like over the rails the wheel wells I mean maybe back here where you know people are throwing stuff in maybe chip this up a little bit maybe some scuffs in here but like at the front where very few things are being thrown we'll probably leave that still nice and shiny maybe up around here down here maybe where it's been knocked by some rocks or something you know just stuff like that so go ahead and uh we'll start measuring for the front and let's get the front rails done 
All right, guys, in this part, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm uh, gonna make my length, uh, put my posts where I want them. I'm just gonna lay them down flat on the trailer. Just kind of center it where I want it. I'm gonna make this a little long because I want to make sure I have plenty of room or plenty of extra. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna mark the center. All right guys, so I have cut it. Here's a straight on view of where I'm gonna put it. And I did make it a little long. And then again, I'm gonna round these edges, round these edges so these will, this will fit snugly inside and braise it together. But first of all, I need to put my verticals on. Okay guys, we got it done. Now the trick here is to center it and then I want to take my finger and push it tight like the screw will be holding it. So it's going to look something about like that. It looks pretty centered. Let me move it over a little bit. Okay, we're going to mark this side. And then again this side. That's where I want to cut off my length. I'm going to do this with the Dremel because I can't use a pipe cutter because the pipe cutter won't cut on the length. I'm going to make it just a little long because I want to cut that groove in for the other horizontal pipe to, to, to slide into. Like basically the housing. So I'm going to make it just a little longer than my lines. Always remember safety first. Okay, so what that's doing, give me a little housing and we're good. Now all I need to do is mark this, cut that off, and then I'll braise these two together. I may probably just leave it on the trailer to braise it and then bolt it down. That way it's solid. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt it down, braise, and then I'll trim it up with a Dremel, and it, it's a done deal. We'll braise it all off, I'll pull it all apart, and paint. I think I like that. That looks good. Looks straight. Everything looks good. All right. Do the angle. This is for sure not gonna be an easy one to do. We're gonna do our best here. And we'll just bend everything to match. I can bend this and out of the way even. And bend this and back. And then bend this back up to meet it. It's the beauty. The brake line. Okay. See how I got a gap on this one? We're going to do the same thing. Go ahead and bend this down. Bend that in, and bend that back to match. As you can see, we're good. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Dremel. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off as it sets. I'm not even gonna take it back off the trailer. 
That way I know I got a good smooth cut and then we'll braise it on the trailer. It looks good on front. I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and cut it. All right guys, so see how we got us a nice clean cut. Get something back there, there you go. That's what we're after. All right, we'll go ahead and braise this together. And when I braise it, it'll I'll fill in this thing with the braise too, so I don't have a hole there. Unless you want a hole, that's up to you guys. I'm gonna put an extra leg on the corner there, but you know what? I think that's gonna be solid enough. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I think this thing's ready for paint. Again, I'll be using Rust-Oleum for this. It's good and durable. Just a few thin coats to start. It's been drying for about a half hour. Probably be the final coat. Probably hard to see on that angle, but we're looking good, looking good. Let that set for another half hour or so and I think I'll turn it upside down and we'll make sure we get all the posts on it. I'm sure it's hard to see with that black all around it. Black and black just blend too easy. Alright guys, sorry. Air compressor's going. Oh, there it just stopped. This will be my last coat. I got it upside down now. Just gonna freehand the camera here. I just see a little bit of copper still from the braise sticking out, so I'm just gonna kinda touch that stuff up. All right. I think we're good. Let that dry. Put it back on the trailer. Well guys, here it is, the complete trailer. As far as painted and the rails are up. Now as far as you guys that like a shiny trailer, well I guess this series is over for you guys. But as for those that want to add a little season, <clears throat> stay tuned. We'll add a bit of rust and a little bit of scratches and I'll show you kind of how I do it. 
Maybe you guys have some better ideas, but that'll be on the next video. And then, like I said, for those of you that like them nice and shiny, well, I guess we're done. Mm -hmm.